rappers and music producers. This gaming chair Basura. is trash. All right, and seeing the success of the last Amazon video that I did where I broke down 30 must-haves for music producers, I wanted to do something a little bit different this week in which I hopefully save you some money if you plan on getting a new chair for your music studio. The most slept on purchase and probably the most important purchase you're gonna make in your studio is your studio chair. And if you invest in something cheap, which I've done through all my 20s, you're gonna pay for it in your 30s. Listen clearly, your back is screaming right now. You can't hear it, but when you get to your mid-30s, oh, you're gonna hear it, and you won't be able to ignore it. You ever heard of a chiropractor? I deal with extreme neck pain, extreme sciatic nerve. My neck in my back. And, oh. You know, the upper booty. And it hurts, and a lot of it has to do with posture, a lot of it has to do with the kind of support, and not having an ergonomic setup. So, in the first episode of Get This, Not This, we're gonna be talking about chairs for your music studio. Now, when I first got this chair right here, it was really about how sexy the colors was. Look at that sexy yellow, that sexy black. Oh yeah, it was sexy at first. Then I sat in it, it felt good. And one day I was working on a beat. This motherfucker said, and then we can go back up. So that's why it's downstairs and I got a new chair upstairs. Gamer chairs are trash. What kind of back support? How you gonna give me my baby pillow? I got a baby pillow, I got a baby. How you gonna give me my baby pillow and think that's gonna help a grown man back? This is for little kids who be drinking Mountain Dew, eating hot Cheetos with the cream cheese and the pickles. They don't care about back support. Nigga, I'm getting old. <laughs> now allow me to put you up on game. Music producers, which one of y'all plan on spending a lot of time in a chair making beats? Raise your hand, raise your hand. Stop playing with me. This chair, although pricey, is the most comfortable chair I have ever had in my life. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to try. It's the most comfortable chair. I'm sorry. Don't look, Dom. Chill. Matter of fact, my wife won't even walk into my studio and watch my videos or listen to my music unless one request is granted. What request is that, honey? As long as I get to sit in this chair. Why you like sitting in this chair? Because it's comfy. It's like sitting on nothing. It's just, I don't know, it's nice. For somebody who has a gamer chair inside your nail room, what are, you, what are your thoughts on gamer chairs? Cushioned, but it's not comfy. It's like getting one of them big ass pillows from Walmart. You're like, damn, I'm about to sleep like a baby on this. And then you sleep on it, you don't sleep like a baby. Cause it's just, <laughs> your head just dipping inside the pillow. Like, forget all my equipment. Give me just this chair, butt ass naked with no clothes <laughs> on it. The cushion here, the back support here. The only issue that I have with the back support is that I like to lean in when I'm making beats. The chair is like, baby, baby, sit back. All right, I got trust issues since I had a gamer chair. She'd be rubbing my neck and stuff. She'd be like, damn, you've been having a long day on that FL, FL studio. Won't you, why well, you getting closer, honey? It just be comfortable. Like this is the most comfortable chair that I have ever purchased. Forget aesthetics, fam. You're gonna be spending all your time in here. And because I know my demographic is like 35 to 45, it's a lot of y'all that's dealing with the same sciatica nerve issues that I am. And if you in your 20s, Thank me now, because you're gonna one day be in your 30s, God willing, and you're gonna be angry when you sit in that damn gamer chair, and you're like, oh shit, this is what Curtis is talking about. <laughs> oh. So if you have the opportunity, if you have the funds, this is the best chair that I have ever had for my music production. The only con that I have about this chair, now it may be my issue, I may need to type. Oh my God. It may be my issue and I may need to tighten it up or something, and it might actually be the carpet that it's on as well, but. Can you get closer on this, honey? Mm -hmm. These wheels are a little bit iffy, right? And when I'm rolling it, sometimes they'll get stuck sideways when I'm trying to go forward and it just becomes this whole confusion thing. If not for these wheels, this would be the perfect chair. Other than that, comfort level, 10. It's a nice chair, that's why it's $300. This thing has done more for me than any other chair that I've ever had. Only beef I got with the delivery of it was that my delivery driver from Amazon, I ain't trying to snitch on nobody, but he delivered it to the neighbors and they finna get the most comfortable chair they ever had in their life. And I walked up to the door and I was like, you got my chair in there? <laughs> oh yeah, it's a show chair? I said, yeah, it's my chair, Amazon. Days. That was it y'all. I just want to put you up on game and make sure that you at least have been exposed to one producer video that suggests what I think is the best chair on the market. This is something that if you are investing into a beginner studio, advanced studio, this is relevant because you're going to spend a lot of time sitting down in front of your computer and the worst thing you can do is to be hurting yourself while you're trying to help your career. So if not this chair, find yourself a better chair because gamer chairs are trash. Hold on, I got this, I got this. Your days are numbered.
Curtis King TV. Look up, Nazi. Say cheese. Hmm.